Let's see if we can find some more cool notes. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to my channel. Like I said, I periodically do bill searches and bill searches are where you're looking for fancy or cool serial numbers, star notes, printing errors, web notes, anything that might fetch more than face value. Now, when I do get these types of searches done, I typically try to ask my tellers if I can order a Federal Reserve brick. A brick is a 10 strap bundle of bills. Each of these straps contains 100 bills, so there's a thousand of them. Now these are $1 bills, and when I hunt them, I'm looking for a lot of different things like I've mentioned, and for those that are new to bill hunting, I do have helpful links down below in the video description. If you do like watching videos of people going through bills, I have an entire playlist also linked down below, but I'll put a quick link up here if you wanna check it out. Now, like I said, this is a Federal Reserve brick. I periodically get these, and sometimes I have good luck, and sometimes I have bad luck. I recently did a couple of straps of these and one was a really good strap and one was pretty much a bust. Hopefully this strap is as good as the first strap, if not better. Now I'm gonna tear into this and how I'm gonna do this is like I've been doing is I'm gonna hunt through every one of these straps one at a time and at the end of every strap, give you a strap wrap up unless I find something amazing while I'm hunting it. Let me go ahead and open this up, take a look at all of the end bills and see if there's anything fancy and stack them up and I'll be back. All right, we've got all 10 of the straps set up. No fancy enders, of course, on the 10 straps, but what are you gonna do? I will say that these were dated July 29th when they were wrapped at the Federal Reserve, and that first brick I had was July 29th, which was the good brick, and then July 30th was the not so good brick. So, if anything matters, maybe the date does, because they were wrapped at the same time as my other good 10 straps. Enough chit chat, let's get the hunting going. I'll give you a strap wrap up as soon as I finish strap one. Strap number one's off to a good start. Two star notes, a 2013 K series and a 2017 A L series. Not too shabby. Let's move on to strap number two next. Well, strap two was a bust, but we had a near hit here. 1209, 9012. If that would have ended in 21 instead of 12, we would have a radar, 1209 and then 1209. Unfortunately, it's just a almoster and not a keeper. Slightly printed off center as well, or at least cut off center, but not dramatic enough and the bill's not in great condition. Not a keeper, like I said. Two straps down, two star notes so far. And as a reminder, I'll be checking the star notes for their rarities at the end of the video. And I have that star note lookup site also down below. All right, strap number three. Strap number three, one star note, 2017 H series. We'll add it with the star notes and move on to strap number four. Strap four was another bust. We had kind of a cool note here, 0899-0668. Had it been 0899-6680, I would have liked it because it'd be a flipper bill and would have read the same both ways, if you know what I'm saying. But either way, it is a kind of a flipper, but I don't like flippers with eights. I prefer them to have zeros, sixes, and nines only, but you can have them with eights and ones as well. It looks kind of cool, it's in decent shape, but I'm not gonna be keeping it. Four straps down, strap five next. Strap five, one star note. 2013 K-Series, pretty rough shape too, but it does give us four star notes through five straps. Let's do strap six next. Strap number six yielded two more star notes, another beat up 2013 L-Series, and the 2017A L series as well. And I checked that serial number because it was similar to the other one we found, but they're off by a couple of hundred, so no sequential ones there. Still, six straps now, and now six star notes. So we're keeping pace with the star notes that we'd expect, but not one cool serial number yet. Strap seven, next. Strap seven, nada. Let's try strap eight. Strap number eight, cold as ice. Strap nine, let's go. 
Strap number nine was another cold strap. We did get a 1995 note, and like I've mentioned, 88A, 93, and 95, you want to check for the web note, which means the printing plate number, instead of being below one, is above one next to In God We Trust. But recently in one of my videos, one of my subscribers said that you can also tell a web note by the obverse of the bill. And so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of web notes that I have, and as you can see, the printing plate number is above on both of these notes. But the other way to tell on the obverse is you have a printing series here, G2, and you won't have that on a web note. You won't have any extra numbers next to these fives or whatever number corresponds on the bills. So you can tell a web note by the obverse, although my tried and true method has always been to just look at the reverse and not worry about it. Either way, Nine straps down and uh, just six star notes to show for it. I may have jinxed myself when I said we're doing good on star notes because since then, we've got nothing else. Last strap of the hunt. Hope it's a good one. Well, I'm sorry, guys. Strap 10 was another bust, so it's a pretty, pretty tight hunt for this brick. And we did get six star notes. Now we got to pray something is rare. Even though the bills have not been producing good lately, or at least some of the straps haven't been, that's okay. We're getting close to that Christmas season and people start looking in their piggy banks, in their drawers, under their bed mattresses, you name it, and they start cashing in their bills to deposit the money to buy gifts. If that holds true in the next 30 to 45 days, we could run across some nice bills, which is why I've increased my number of bill searches lately, even if the fines aren't that great. Let me go ahead and bring up these star notes, see if we have anything rare, and I'll bring you back with a wrap up and some final thoughts. Well, I brought up the star notes and the 2013s, none of them were any more rare, they're just common. And the 2017 A's are also common. This 2017 H series is actually a little more rare. There's a lot of notes printed, 3.7 million printed. So that makes it less rare on the total printed, but the run size is only 500,000 which puts it about a third of the way up the rarity scale. So definitely not a lot of value in this note, slightly more than a common one. It's also slightly miscut off center. So that might add a little bit more value as well. Although it's not in the best shape, you can see a lot of creases and folds and other damage to it, things like that. Either way, I'll hold on to it because I do hold on to star notes that are under 640,000 on the print run. So this will be held on to. These other ones will go into a bundle that I always make down the road when I get 25 to 50 star notes. I go ahead and allow subscribers or others who collect them to purchase them. Like I said, I know this 10 strap brick was not the best, but you got to go through straps like that to find the good bills. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this currency search despite the lack of fines. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.